we all have learned about inheritance or heredity in our previous classes we have learned about mendel's experiments hybridization experiments on pea plants and we know a lot about what mendel has to say on how genes get transferred from one generation to another and how inheritance of traits happens or how characteristics or traits are transferred from one generation to another let us revise what we have already learned and then go further okay so let's learn more about heredity or inheritance we all know that heredity or inheritance is the process by which genetic information is passed on from parent to the child this is why members of the same family tend to have similar characteristics now in humans human beings carry two copies of each chromosome they have two versions of each gene we all know that we have a genetic coding in the form of chromosomes and genes and we know that we carry two copies of each chromosome and there are two versions of each gene now these two different versions are called alleles these alleles have different form of the same gene humans have alleles of particular genes in pairs and our characteristics are determined by the combination of alleles we have we also know that alleles can be either dominant or recessive we'll understand these terms a little more as we go further now what are these dominant and recessive alleles dominant alleles show their effect even if the individual only has one copy of the allele for example the allele for brown eyes is dominant therefore you only need one copy of the brown eye allele to have brown eyes although with two copies you will still have brown eyes but to have brown eyes since the allele of brown eyes is dominant even if you have just one allele of brown eye you are going to have brown eyes now the second instance if both alleles are dominant it is called codominance the resulting characteristic is due to both alleles being expressed equally so there can be a combination where both the alleles are dominant for example if when we have a blood group ab this means that there is codominance of both a and b alleles coming to recessive alleles recessive alleles show their effect if the individual has two copies of the allele for example the allele for blue eyes is recessive therefore to have blue eyes you need to have two copies of the blue eye allele so in case there is this blue eye color in somebody that means the person has two alleles it's blue eye alleles that is why the person has blue eyes since the allele of blue eyes is a recessive allele we need two alleles for blue eye to have blue eyes now the question is why do we need to study inheritance in psychology the reason is that there are certain genetic disorders which are because of chromosomal abnormalities so there are certain genetic disorders which we are going to study in our following lectures for which we need to understand the basic principles of inheritance and the key terms related to heredity or inheritance a genetic disorder is a disorder which is caused by a change in an individual's dna also known as a genetic disease so a genetic disorder is a disorder which is caused because of some kind of change in the person's dna now there are three kinds of genetic disorders one single gene disorder chromosome disorder and multifactor disorder single gene disorder is a disorder which is caused by defects in one particular gene often with simple and predictable inheritance patterns so single gene disorder is a disorder is a genetic disorder which is caused by abnormality of a single gene chromosome disorder number 2 is a disorder resulting from changes in the number or structure of the chromosomes so chromosomal disorder is a disorder which is caused because of the abnormal number of chromosomes in a person's body multifactor disorder are those disorders which are caused by changes in multiple genes 
often in a complex interaction with environmental and lifestyle factors such as diet or cigarette smoke. So multifactorial disorders are those disorders, those genetic disorders which are caused by changes in multiple genes. Examples of single gene disorder is Huntington disease, chromosomal disorder, Down syndrome and multifactorial disorder, cancer. In our following lectures, we are going to study in detail about Huntington's disease and Down syndrome. Huntington disease is an example of a single gene disorder which is caused because of an abnormality in a single gene and Down syndrome is a disorder which is caused because of the abnormal number of chromosomes found in a person's body. Now here you have certain keywords and the definition of these keywords in very simple language. You can note this down in your notebook for the keyword definition which were given to you as an assignment for the previous lecture. Some more uh, important words or keywords which you need to note down in your notebooks. These are genotype, phenotype, recessive and dominant genes. Genotype is the genetic makeup of a cell. Phenotype is the physical traits and characteristics of an organism resulting from their genetic makeup. So genet genotype refers to the genetic material which you have. It's the genetic constitution which you have. Phenotype refers to the expression of that genetic com constitution in terms of your physical characteristics and traits. Now recessive and dominant alleles. Recessive allele is the allele which shows its effect only if there are two copies in the genome. So we know that in a gene there, there are two alleles, there are two copies of the same gene. These two copies which are called alleles differ. Sometimes they are dominant and sometimes they are recessive. And the third combination could be one dominant and the other res recessive. So a recessive allele is that allele which shows itself in terms of physical characteristics or phenotype only when both the copies are recessive. For example, the allele for blue eyes is a recessive one, Wh what, which means that to have, in order to have blue eyes, one needs to have two alleles of, two recessive alleles of blue eyes. Dominant allele is that allele which it, it shows itself or shows its effect even if there is only one copy in the genome. So the dominant allele is that allele which expresses itself even if it is present as a single copy. For example, the, the allele for brown eyes is a dominant one which means that even if you have one of the copies in a gene, one of the alleles is dominant for brown eyes, you have you will have brown eyes no matter what the other allele is. So that is how we understand the genotype and phenotypical characteristics which results from the genotype. Let us now go to Mendel's laws. Now Mendel has given three laws of inheritance based on his hybridization experiments on pea plants. Uh, these three laws of uh, inheritance are law of dominance, law of segregation and law of independent assortment. You can note down these three laws of inheritance in your notebook which is a part of your syllabus. In the next lectures, we are going to understand how heredit heredity or inheritance results in some genetic disorders as we have understood in this lecture. In the next lecture we are going to study in detail the two genetically caused disorders which are Down syndrome and Huntington's disease. Huntington's disease and Down syndrome are genetically caused disorders which have a psychological manifestation as well. What it means is that a person who has Huntington's disease or Down's syndrome suffers from a lot of psychological incapabilities or deficits and this is what we are going to learn in our next lecture. Thank you.